Did you know tramadol may be effective for men who suffer from PE, also premature ejaculation? Please like and subscribe to the channel. Let's jump right on into it. We'll be discussing how tramadol has recently been discovered to also be a potential treatment, not just for depression, but also for men suffering from PE, which is premature ejaculation. So let's jump right on in to this study that I found and once again, like and subscribe. So to start, let's remember that tramadol affects the brain in multiple ways. It affects the norepinephrine receptors and the serotonin receptors as stated in prior videos. And I'll leave links to those as well. But with this, so according to According to the SM, SNA, which is the Sexual Medicine Society of North America, they are saying that tramadol, once again, which is a painkiller, may help with men with premature ejaculation, help, it, help them last longer. Um, and premature ejaculation, just to clarify, is when a man climax, it's when they, they uh, climax before they want to, and it typically occurs within one to three minutes, which for a lot of, uh, which, for men in general, that can be physically and psychologically a problem down the road if not if not treated. So remember, tramadol is usually prescribed for moderate to severe pain. However, this is where the research the researchers have discovered that it may also help men with PE delay ejaculation if taken two to four hours before sex. Tramadol has not been approved has not been an approved treatment for PE, but some doctors prescribe it off-label for this purpose and off-label just means once again it's being prescribed it's it technically hasn't been approved for for anything like for sexual dysfunction but they'll just off-label it for pain or whatnot which it does help with pain or depression so once again tramadol um, does have a lot of side effects which can include drowsiness um, ingestion and nausea are some of the most common but there's also as there are there are also a risk of um, addiction, and also there are also studies provided how in how if tramadol is taken in low doses, once again two to four hours before sex, it it really helps psychologically um, from a male from a men's perspective is what the studies are saying, and I'm going to leave a link to this. Um, to this by the, once again, the Sexual Medicine Society of North America. But the thing is, remember, getting it prescribed is probably gonna be harder than you. It's gonna be harder, because once again, a lot of doctors aren't gonna just off-label it. You have to have a good rapport with your doctor. So that's why you definitely, if you if you are suffering from something like this, and you don't wanna go, you know, you don't wanna take other medications or do sexual therapy, which is a thing as well. It's not, it's once again, it's not something with this where, you know, you could potentially become addicted to it. Like anything, but I, you potentially could. So that's why I would definitely, I would definitely try other things first. And if those aren't working, or you don't, or you know, you have a bad reaction to um, the typical medications for um, ED. So that that would be one reason. But the big thing is remembering having a rapport with your doctor in regards to this topic. And once again, not being FDA approved is going to make it a little bit harder. But real quick, the other thing is um, the biggest thing is once again, it can if it's that one reason why I believe that it probably is helping in this way is because if somebody is depressed, remember there are studies that have shown that tramadol in low doses assist with depression, right? So remember serotonin once again really regulates your mood and norepinephrine boosts alertness and focus. Combine all those three, combine those three traits together and that could that not only helps with depression, but that could help with your sexual libido even. I mean things like that. So that that's why I find it interesting that a lot of medications have there are a lot of off-label medications that can assist in different ways. But once again, I did this just quick video just because I know there are a lot of questions in regards to tramadol in general because of not really knowing specifically how it works because it helps in a wide variety of ways, kind of like meds like gabapentin and Lyrica, which I'll leave a link to that video as well if you're interested in. But 
I definitely think it should be something that potentially not, if it's not approved yet, they should have more studies in regards to it, but I would be completely okay with them approving it with these studies I've read. Um, so I'm gonna leave the links to these, but thanks for checking out this video. Check out my 360 di 365 days of running playlist. Once again, like and subscribe. We're gonna put out videos as much as we can. Also, I'm putting out um, a, a shirt idea um, that I'm thinking about dropping soon, so check that out as well. This is your daily dose of mental health with Adam. Peace and love. I love every one of you. Thank you for subscribing. And just comment, leave a comment if you want to as well. Love you all.